hello guys here I am once again with another video on my BMW X3 today I am going to talk about a little bit on the turbocharger of this engine this is common with all the BMWs having N47 engine and quite similar to all the other BMW engines having diesel as a fuel and this is the turbocharger and this side is also known as the hot side of the turbocharger and this side of the turbocharger is the cold side the exhaust gas coming out from this engine passes through the turbine of the turbocharger and it spins at a very very high speed this turbine rotating here is connected to the compressor side of the turbocharger through a shaft here and in turn this turbine spins the compressor at a very very high speed thus compressing the air which is required to be pushed in to the combustion chamber of the engine this is the air intake pipe and from here the air goes inside the air box you have the air box here and the air cleaner air filter so from there through the air filter the air goes through this hose and from this hose it goes inside the turbocharger and the turbocharger compresses the air and further goes down to the big hose down there so from there the air compressor goes to uh, intercooler the intercooler is down there again and from the intercooler it goes up here you can see a big hose here so through from the intercooler the compressor comes here and this is your intake manifold so from here it goes into the intake manifold and finally it goes inside the uh, cup combustion chamber of the engine this is the electric motor which moves as per the position of the accelerator and uh, this electric motor is in turn connected to the turbine through this control roads and in turn it adjusts the angle of the turbine to decide how much air is to be pumped into the combustion chamber of the engine during acceleration as well as during normal operation of the engine this is the park position of the arms and when you start the engine it should move as shown in the video and as you apply your accelerator these arms should respond accordingly and when you switch off the engine it should go back to its park position so if you experience slugginess during acceleration you may check the movement of this control roads and if you find jerkiness in the movement of this control roads you can spray some WD-40 and check it once again if uh, there is no movement of these control roads or if there are restricted movements then you may need to open and service this turbocharger or even you may need to overhaul the turbocharger in such a scenario you will have an error code in the dash as well this is the inlet pipe of the engine oil for lubricating the bearing of the turbocharger these uh, turbochargers are designed to last for a lifetime of this vehicle and most of the failure of the turbocharger is due to the failure of the bearing which is basically due to lack of lubrication if you use a thicker engine oil like 20W40, it will be difficult for the pump to pump the engine oil up to this point. So you must always use a correct grade of engine oil, uh, 5W40 or maybe 0W40 if you are living in a very very cold region. And if you are starting your car after parking for a day or after parking for a few days, you must allow the car to idle for a few minutes, 2 to 3 minutes before you accelerate so that the engine oil reaches here up to this turbocharger if you keep these small things in mind then your turbocharger would probably last for a lifetime thank you guys for watching if you have a question please feel free to drop me a comment thank you